Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner, where each month we bring you a new fly pattern to give a try to on our Central Oregon lakes and rivers. In addition to showing you how to tie each pattern, I'll feature fishing technique tips and tricks, and I'll cover some of the entomology behind each pattern to help gain a better understanding of the bugs that we're trying to imitate. I have field tested each of the patterns that I feature each month to make sure that they catch fish. I'll cover tying instructions for the fly as well as materials to help you be able to recreate these patterns on your own vise. For this month's pattern, I'm going to tie a chubby Chernobyl ant. This is an excellent pattern to use uh, as a dry dropper on many of our streams and lakes. It imitates stoneflies, it imitates um, big terrestrials like grasshoppers or beetles, or in this case I've tied it as a big carpenter ant or a big beetle. Um, in dark colors like black. Um, you can adapt the colors to match your individual circumstance or insect that you're trying to imitate. Um, overall it's an excellent pattern. Oftentimes fish will take the, uh, the dropper off this fly, but often as not I've had them come up and eat the chubby as well. So give this pattern a try. I think you'll like it. So let's cover the materials briefly for this pattern. I'll cover each material in greater depth as we tie the fly. So let's get started tying the chubby Chernobyl ant. I'll cover the first couple materials. Um, starting with, I'm using a fire hole 718 hook. This is a 2x long, slightly curved competition barbless hook. And for this one, I'm using a size 16. The, the whole insect that I'm tying is about 3 quarters of an inch long. And uh, this hook fits the bill well for this pattern. For the thread, I'm using an Ultra 140 denier in black. So I'm going to start by tying on my thread up near the head position and I'm just going to layer a, a layer of thread all the way down the hook shank to the tail set. For some flash off the back end of this fly, I'm using a little crystal flash in olive. So I'm going to tie in my crystal flash right up toward the head and wind it all the way back to the tail set position. And then I'll clip off the excess, leaving a tag of about a quarter inch, maybe even a third of an inch off the back end of this pattern. For the dubbing, I'm using a blend of Angora goat dubbing in black, um, about 75%. And then I'm also using ice dub in olive, and I'm putting about 25% in my dubbing blender and mixing that up to form a nice dubbing blend. The ice dub adds a little bit of sparkle and life in the uh, abdomen of this fly. Next, I'll go ahead and spin a dubbing noodle on my thread which I've advanced back up to the head position. And I'm going to wind dubbing all the way back to the tail set position. And then I'll return my thread just slightly forward of that where I'm going to initially tie in foam in a moment. For the foam on this fly, I'm using a 2 millimeter black foam. I get this in the fly shop or craft store. Um, this is a size 16, so I've, I've 
drop down to two millimeters thick. If I was tying it, it in a larger size, I would opt for three millimeters, say for a size 10 and on up. So I've cut a piece of foam that's probably about a quarter inch wide and I've notched the end of it like you see in the video and I'm going to go ahead and tie this on with the end of the foam extending to the end of the flash and I'll wrap this with a number of wraps creating a um, nice little flat spot within the foam with my tying thread. For the legs on this fly, I'm using Hairline's Crazy Legs in an olive flake uh, pattern. So let's tie in the first set of rubber legs. I've cut two pieces and I'm going to tie them in right on top of that little flat space in the foam with, with a couple three real soft wraps. And from there I'll clip them to size. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull each side and reorient them out to the side of the fly. And then I'll go ahead and cinch down with a couple more uh, tighter wraps. For the wing, I'm using an Enrico Puglesi's uh, EP Fibers in White. So now I'm going to tie in the wing and I've taken a bunch of the EP fibers and I'll go ahead and clip off a nice crisp end and tie that in right on that little flat spot above the legs. And then I'm going to take the forward section and fold it back over my scissors to create a little bubble and I'll tie uh, thread over that little bubble and that helps push that wing backwards as I finish up the wing. So from here I'm going to go ahead and spin some dubbing on the thread and I'm going to wind over that little flat spot that I just left and um, that'll go ahead and push that wing down. It'll go ahead and spread out the, the rubber legs that I have tied on. And then I'll wind the remainder all the way back up to the head position on the fly. So once I'm back up at the head position, I'll go ahead and wrap over my foam, uh, really following the same steps as what I did on the rear of the fly. Initially, I'll leave a little flat spot in the foam. And then I'll move right in to tie my rubber legs in with a couple soft wraps and spread those out. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie in my wing following the same procedure. And lastly, we'll dub a small dubbing noodle just to spread those legs out a bit. From here, move into a whip finish to finish up this pattern. I usually use two whip finishes because I don't use any glue 
and each of those whip finishes I'm driving into that foam and trying to prop it up just slightly. So once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and clip off the foam and nip the corners to create a nice shape on this fly. So let me rotate this fly around in the vise so you can see all sides of the chubby Chernobyl ant. So that has been your Sun River Anglers fly tying corner for this month. I hope you'll give the chubby Chernobyl a try in your favorite colors. Tie it as a hopper, tie it as a terrestrial beetle, ant. Um, get creative. It's a great pattern and one that catches a lot of fish. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this YouTube page and like us on Facebook at Sun River Anglers. Thanks for watching.